Hello guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. And if you're new here, my name is Obu Gatsby Uche. Super excited to be here again, guys. And I have with me... Bar from the Positivity Mindset. Very really happy to, to be, be here. here. Yeah. <laughs> Come on, man. What are you doing this thing? <laughs> like, you know, like, always happy to be here. has been like the slogan, oh, Bar yeah. from the uh, uh, Positivity Mindset. Always happy to be I here. I to like sue you, bro. <laughs> For copyright yeah, infringement. Yeah, yeah. That's a sin, bro. <laughs> okay, guys, so... I mean, I recommended videos from you guys. Like most of the videos I've been recommend, I've been doing for the past few weeks, have been all recommended videos from mm -hmm. you guys. So, um, to do we have another one. It says Ahmed did that embarrassed priest who wanted to challenge him. A rare video. Hmm. Uh, Let's check it out. Begotten means exactly and precisely what it says. Begotten, fathered, conceived of the Holy Spirit. Jesus was indeed as man born of the spirit born of the father begotten not made and i'm so glad you made that distinction because it is central to the christian faith and it actually establishes his deity that what is begotten of god is god and what is created of god is not god and that is why the deity of jesus christ is revealed in his birth uh, that just as you so eloquently quoted Billy Graham saying that the Holy Spirit overshadowed the Virgin Mary and and and, and uh, you seem to think that someone was upset by the idea that that the father sired Jesus well I have not upset by that at all it's absolutely scriptural and therefore uh, I want to ask you to confirm as I think you have so eloquently said on on the uh, on the videotape uh, that the distinction between the Islamic religion and the Christian faith, the Christian revelation, is that the Jesus of the Quran is a creature created by Almighty God, whereas the Jesus of the Christian revelation is begotten of God, is an, a manifestation of God in the flesh. And we say, therefore, that Jesus, just as Billy Graham uh, pointed out, uh, it was born as a result of the impregnation by the spirit of the Virgin Mary and as Irene Milan pointed out in our earlier on we have therefore Jesus fully man and fully God now to an unbeliever like yourself we do not expect that to make sense unless the Holy Spirit gives the revelation because no one will say Jesus is Lord but by the Spirit you see in this expression we got John 3.16 I take it you have it in your American standard That's version. right. But the RSV, you said you don't use it. It's reason best known to yourself. But Christian scholars, 32 scholars of the highest eminence, backed by 50 cooperating denominations, I don't know whether you, since you do not claim to belong to any denomination, they went and produced this book. And the, the testimonies, the praises, that which are being heaped upon this translation by Anglican Church newspaper. The Church of England newspaper says that this is the finest version which has been produced in the present century. Times Literary Supplement says a completely fresh translation by scholars of the highest eminence. Life and Work says the well-loved characteristics of the authorized version combined with the new accuracy of translation. And the time says the most accurate and close rendering of the original. They are claiming that this translation goes to the most ancient manuscripts. And in John 3.16, they have eliminated the word begotten. Because they say these are defects in your present scriptures. More especially based on Jerome's Latin Vulgate, the King James Version. The authors here, 32 scholars of the highest eminence, backed by 50 cooperating denominations, they say that the King James Version, used by a billion Christians today in different, different languages, King James Version, says, yet the King James Version has grave defects. By the middle of the 19th century, the development of biblical studies and the discovery of many manuscripts more ancient than those upon which the King James Version was based, made it manifest that these defects are so many and so serious as to call for revision. So they revised it, that is what the RSV is, 1952, and the word begotten they threw out as a fabrication, interpolation, it was a fabrication. So if this was inspired by God, 
if God said I have begotten a son, it would be something. But since it was an interpolation, it's work of people, you know, with vested interest, like you would, you wouldn't use this Bible at all, because it, that it won't suit you. Whatever you are out to preach, it hasn't got it. The ascension is taken out, the verse on the Trinity is taken out, and there still remain those many defects, serious, grave defects, you see, which need certification. So this word begotten is a defect and they took it out. But Mr. Yes. Mr. Dida, yes, if we were going to base our belief on one word, we would be a lost people. There are many other scriptures which I can quote and which I've quoted. No, no, you quote one at a time. It. If you quote one at a time, like this now, That's right. the word begotten we're discussing, I said, look, this word begotten, you have to tell me now that these 32 scholars of the Christian Bible were not scholars. That they were lay people or barbers, shoemakers, that they went and produced this book. These 50 denominations that you don't belong to that, but those 50 denominations are all heathen or they're unbelievers. They went and produced this book and they made, they sold millions of this. And they made a net profit of 11 to 15 million on this book alone. May I quote yes. from this book, yes. the doctrine of the begotten Son of God from the scriptures. All right? The uh, word begotten. The word begotten. The RSV, I do think it's an inferior translation, but it's one you put your faith in. I quote. I didn't. This is your church that have produced it. <laughs> <laughs> your point is. All right. For to what angel did God ever say, Thou art my son, today I have begotten thee. Or again, I will be to him a father, he shall be to me a a son. And in verse 7, of the angels he says, who makes his angels winds and his servants flames of fire, but of the son he says, thy throne, O God, is forever and ever. Now, you t where was this quotation taken from? Hebrews chapter 1. Right. Quoting the Psalms. Right. So we go to the book of Psalms and we find that this was attributed to David. God's Almighty is speaking to David. He said, I will declare a decree unto thee that thou art my son. This day have I begotten thee. God is speaking to David. This day means today I have brought you into being. Begotten. When did God Almighty tell Jesus that I have begotten you today? In the canonical gospels, Matthew, Mark, Luke and John. Is there a single statement, voice heard from heaven, God saying that I have begotten you today? No. But this is what we read in the book of Psalms, and God had spoken those words to David. Now if you take them out from there, and you apply them, as Paul has done, to make God out of Jesus, well, that is his business. But what I am saying is this, that Jesus Christ, that is not, it's an amazing thing, that you are not quoting me a single word of Jesus. Whatever you are out to prove, there is not one word I'm hearing that Jesus said this or Jesus said that. You're quoting me Paul again and again. You quote, he's quoting scripture from the Old Testament. And I said, when you look at it on the very face of it, he's not talking about Jesus, he's talking about David. Actually, at that point, perhaps we can move on to the next topic and see if we can progress from there. All right. The next one, please, Jonathan. <coughs> okay. Um, or, or I have to say, like, Ahmed Dida, like, he's a man of great intellect, per se, and he tries to, like, in his own best way, best knowledge, explain what he understands about the Bible. Yeah. And for me, like, what I experience here is something that I've noticed before, like, I've not read the Bible that much yet, yeah, but I attended a Catholic school, I interacted with Catholics, I interacted with other people, which they call Pentecostal, the Anglicans, yeah. And most times when we talk, not like we argue, try to understand things, most of the things you quote for me are not what Jesus actually said, yeah? Mm -hmm. And this one, and coming to this point, saying like what God said about David mm -hmm. on this day, continuation, um, to what I saw, I think the priest, when he was quoting it, mm -hmm. he thought like he was referring to Jesus. Okay. 
Yeah, but like that actually was referred to like David. All right, so let's let's look at this. Yeah. When before, according to the that some of his messages, previous messages, mm -hmm. right? There, yeah, where he, he points out that some scriptures were referring to who Muhammad, right? Mm -hmm. Like Muhammad, this scripture was talking about Muhammad. Now, taking from that scripture, that's what we read the previous video, and I was said that was Hebrews chapter one, and I read from the beginning where he said that my by my son, we speaking on, unto us by my son, who by which I made the universe, right? By whom? Uh, by whom? Sorry, I made yeah, the universe. Like that, yeah. mm. Okay. So or through whom? Through no, whom? No, no, by. It's true whom. Okay, I made the universe. Okay, and it came, to, and I tried to establish the fact that God made the universe by His word. He said, "Kun fire kun," right? And it, it be and it became. And how did Jesus come in there? Is it true? I tried to establish that fact. Is it true, David? He said, "He said, by whom I have what made the universe, right? That's what the, the scriptures there say. Hebrew chapter one." That's what he was reading. David or Jesus? He said, by whom? By my son. This chapter he just quoted. That's what I'm trying to tell you. It's Hebrews chapter 1, verse 6 and 7. They are trying to refer it to Psalms. No, he mentioned Psalms when he said, today. Now, he said, look mm -hmm. at, the man said, mm -hmm. he read Hebrews uh -huh. 1, chapter 1, I think from verse 5 okay. to 7. Now, um, the dad was saying that place was referring to uh, a scripture in in Psalms, okay. right? Now I'm trying to dispute this fact because verily, it's not true. David, in which he 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 um established the universe. Okay, okay. But what I want to ask you, yeah, mm -hmm. the chapter, the verse that Ahmed did that quoted mm -hmm. was from where Psalms, right? Psalms. It was written by David. Uh huh. And how does that Hebrew one relate to what he said that about he Psalms? was what, in Hebrew? He was saying what that place he was saying the begotten there mm -hmm. was referring to David. No, what I understood about the video is mm -hmm. this: yeah, the begotten he said like mm -hmm. when Christians say the only begotten Son of God. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the begotten there, like when people see Jesus is the begotten Son of God. Mm -hmm. Like even the RSV, the Revised Version of like what they use. King the, has refuted like that statement should not be there. He first said that one and they removed it. Yeah, it was kind of like not true based on the 30 or 50 great scholars of Christianity. Okay. Then later, yeah. So, what I'm trying to say is, uh -huh. he was saying when he read that place and he, gave, he asked him where did he read it from, he said Hebrews chapter 1. Okay. Then the dad said that place was referring to a scripture in Psalms. Okay. Yeah. And, what, and he what, quoted what, the, yeah. um, the scriptures in Psalm. What, what did the scriptures say? Do you remember again? Um, let, let's take it back and see. I will be to him a father. He shall be to me a son. Let's go to him. again I will be to him a father he shall be to me a son and in verse 7 of the angels he says who makes his angels winds and his servants flames of fire of fire but of the son he says thy throne O God is forever and ever yeah. Um, pausing it, yeah. what he said here, yeah, and that Hebrew we read on the last video. This is the same chapter. No, no. It is. Yeah. Okay, but the this, is a, king, yeah, this but is a King different. James version. Okay, but... Like, like revised standard version, what we read was NIV. Okay, like the true him, I made the word, like I didn't see that. He didn't read from chapter one, that's chapter one. Uh -huh. He didn't read from verse one. 
Okay, but the verse he read from is it verse seven? By, from five to seven. Fine, because like sometimes why I say this, mm -hmm. yeah, he didn't read from verse one. This particular side and what we read was not kind of correlated. Because why I said that, mm -hmm. you know, based on the Quran, it's something like this. You start a story like this, the next thing will come is a story from another side. Okay. So what? For what, me, mm -hmm. what I think like it's not kind of like. So really right cool. now, it, we read the whole full thing. So we started from where he said the things, and he kept kept on talking about his son and how he created this, and he kept on talking. But he read just Five this part too. So. Yes. So if we read that, and you get, get a better understanding of what is exactly what's going on, it's about his son, which he said through his son he has spoken to us. Through mm -hmm. his, this same son, he has used in in establish um, to make he made the universe. Okay. Do you so, get it? So what I want to ask now, yeah. Sorry mm -hmm. for the too much. Question, no problem. Sure, sure, sure. Um, this verse that the guy just read, the yes. priest just read, yeah, was he referring to Jesus or David? It was Jesus. Okay, but it's like, if we look forward on the video, it's like mm -hmm. the guy accepted that he was talking to David. I think he didn't want to move on. He said, like, let's move on so that they don't get stuck. They're going back and forth on this scripture, on this particular um, begotten son, and this, that it's, is what is happening here. Okay. Yes. Because, okay. Yeah. <laughs> All right, guys. Sorry for the complications there. We, we need to like, understand. Yeah, something. exactly. So it's been it's been a wonderful one. And please let me know what you think about this video. If you have any opinion or better understanding about it, you yeah. feel I, I've missed one or two or have. So kindly drop that in the comments Comment section. section. Yeah, and we really value that. Yes, like, yes. We need to, like, know, yeah. Exactly. And please, um, if I've said anything um, during the course of this video and you feel offended, I'm very, very sorry. That was not my intentions. And yeah. So if you're new here, please subscribe, share, like the video, and also drop your comment section. Like in the comment section, drop your suggestions, yeah, recommend yeah. videos for us to yeah. look into, and we'll definitely do justice to that. So come your way next time. Do not forget to go follow him, Bar from the Positivity Mindset yeah. here. Amazing YouTube, amazing content. Check out his um, channel, and you'll be amazed by what you'll find. All right, guys, so come your way next time.